Hello everybody, this is Frankie Day from Frankie Day Models. Okay, for this uh, beautiful Monday morning, my day off, I have for you the final reveal for the Trumpeter 132nd scale A10 Warthog. Okay, I meant to have this thing uh, published on the way a couple days ago, but I had to work. It got in my way, so it kind of postponed my schedule, but progress has been made. It's done. And I'm ready to hang her up in the wobbly yonder with the crowded skies of Frankie Day's trailer. Okay, an, over an overview of the whole kit in general, it's a wonderful kit, it's beautiful, a novice should have no problem at all attacking a model like this, it's, it has very few small parts to it, nothing compared to that Kenny Hawk uh, Kingfisher that got broke, and uh, in other parts, in other kits that they, that they produce, and, and uh, like other models in general, a lot of pieces, like four or five pieces to make one piece. This is pretty well detailed right down to the rivet head. And uh, it's quite heavy model. There is aftermarket, a lot of aftermarket stuff in this thing. But you don't need it. Take it from old Frankie Day, you don't need it. You don't need all those metal landing gears. This thing's been bought a dozen times. I haven't broken oil yet. yet. And uh, the landing gear on this kit is all it's really hard plastic. It's very strong. But there's two kits. There's a kit. I think the earlier versions, I think they went ahead and made the plastic landing gear. Later, the later releases that they made, they came with the metal landing gear. I've seen two discrepancies between the kits. Mine was with the uh, the plastic landing gear. And I saw other uh, inbox reviews with metal, white metal landing gears. So you don't need none of this. And uh, it holds up quite well. Okay, enough chatter. We'll take a look at this bird. I got this pipe with a canopy open. This week I'm definitely getting my camcorder, guys. We're going to have excellent videos from now on. So I'll use this shoddy old rib cam that I bought. And we're going to pick this thing up a little, a little higher so I can be able to move this thing around a little bit, guys, so you can see a lot better. And I grab it neat there. The canopy is open and closes. Here's one for old Bill right there. I got the old cup pilot in there. That's funny. The pilots were painted out differently than the Air Force ones. Well, they they were like olive drab uniforms and uh, not olive drab, green drab and, and uh, gray and and RL mil RM gray helmets on there on the pilot right there. I gave him a wash. It took me about two days to paint that pilot. I'm not good compared to Freddy Duarte and, and a lot of other great figure painters. One of the days I will take a figure painting. As you can see on my Phoenix missiles, I've got my transparency. Those are the lenses that goes to these arm gu guided missiles, the Phoenix missiles. And I got my, and I got my damn I'm, that plastic sea missile left. I could let those my ballast there. I, that rattling here and there is my nose weight. It must have, uh, I guess when I bought that one time, must have broke the seal and it, it came out of that plasterine that I had to keep it all contained. The other side is just as good as the top side. This is a nice model. It's big, it's heavy. The canopy can be open or closed. I can go ahead and right now. You ready to take off? Get the oleo on there. I got the canopy closed. This is a nice model. Boy, I like that teeth right there, but it looks like me with mean one day with a cigar hanging out of my mouth. <laughs> I want to tell you something, but this is a bad boy right here. You tell me you're out there, you go, you're dead. You're dead. This thing is one mean badass airplane. I mean, bad to the bone. This is the kind of airplane you like to have on your side. Boy, the Marines of Evil Gene would like to have one of these. Like I mentioned on video four, during live action. This airplane can start and end the war. One, can start and end the world war in one day. 
with arsenal that they can carry. This area has a lot of a lot of arsenal guys. It's it's all it's it's all optional. I decided to put two Phoenix missile two uh, two Phoenix missile racks on there and two laser bombs on there. Rest is up to you. Load this thing up. Oh yeah, when it comes to attaching these these Phoenix, use five minute epoxy. Don't use the ACC glue glue because it'll, it'll come off. These things are very uh, somehow they just don't like to stick on those those sway shackles we call them or toggles or whatever you want to call them. The Navy we call them toggles but in the Air Force they call them sway sway braces I think I don't know but I could be stand corrected Frankie Navy's on 100% right all the time. I know as much as I got in my almost 80 year old brain. Oh yeah those engines come out there. Those engine pods those TU4 general electric motors right there those inspection panels come up and reveal the plastic engines inside there. So that was kind of like a treat. But overall, this is a wonderful airplane, guys. It, she truly is. I mean, I'm not too keen on jet aircraft. I always like, I'm the reciprocal, I'm old fashioned. I've always liked reciprocal aircraft. And I like jets too now. I like the early jets. Now, this is a nice jet. This is a beautiful jet aircraft by Fairchild and, uh, and the Republic Aircraft Company. Both old, old uh, aircraft companies merged together to make a beautiful airplane like this. Those engines are made in Oak Ridge, Tennessee. They go on DC-10s, jumbo jets, everything. That gives us the power, the oomph of taking off. And the badass arsenal gives us the structure to destroy. This is a beautiful airplane. Buy one. We got one in the stash. Don't be bashful. Build it. Henceforth, these things are costly. Now, here's another hat trick I just learned. They don't make these no more. If you ever find them, you can find them on eBay or on model conventions. I think you should have no problem finding them on eBay. Now the camo on this thing is done with a lot of appreciating on it. I got some photographs that I, that I uh, uploaded on my computer, look at the real aircraft, and it was pretty much close to the one I have. The weather on this thing is very subtle. I don't want to get over crazy on this thing. The way it looked like the way they paint these things back in the day, they just threw the paint on it and that's it. They just sprayed a bunch of paint on it and everything else. They got uh, NATO green, you got kind of like Russian green on there, and also you got that uh, gunship gray on there, and those are the only colors that's on this thing. The camouflage is, 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 is constant, the same pattern on the, on the other side and the top side. There's no, uh, there's no white or gray underneath there, it's just all camo, as you've seen in the video. There's a dotless, same scale. That's my matchbox dotless. Same scale as uh, as the warthog. I love those low relief decals, stars and bars they use. They kind of hardly ever see them. I think that's the design of this kind of plane. But anyway, guys, this is a very nice airplane. I really enjoy building it. I'm going to hang it up now because she's too goddamn big to hang around. These big, big 132nd scale jobs, they'll, they'll, uh, don't take much to pop them. The bigger the airplane, the more clumsier you'll get. Especially in an 8 by, 30, 8 by 40 foot trailer. Very tight space in here, but like I say, this, this year I'll be getting a, a place, you know, and we'll, and, uh, things will be better. And it just takes time. Good things come to those that wait. And I'm one of those guys that like to wait. I got the patience of an oyster. And I can wait for eternity. I know I'll get it someday. I think I paid a handsome fee of $119 for this model. Well, it's got two price tags on it. One for $170. And one for $119. So I got this thing for $119. I saved myself a heap of, a heap of cash. I'm very happy with this thing. I'm very happy. 
This is a beautiful airplane. Uh, this is 20th, 20th century, uh, 21st century uh, design in this thing. Maybe actually it's 20th century, maybe. I don't know. 21st century, I don't know. It's a uh, state of the art, boys. I still use them. I can't see putting these things away. These things are too damn powerful and too mean to, to, to put in mothballs. Okay, we're going to bring the camera back to yours truly over here and finish up this here video. Okay. Ah, set this over here on its box where it came out of. So we'll oh, make a deal with the bopping. Okay. I should have a, vi uh, a video night on, on my Stuka on the uh, last entry for Charlie Max Pearl Harbor Anniversary Group Bill. I have my Stuka. I have a, a video of that. I've got all sub assemblies ready to ready to plug together and go ahead and give it a good prime job and start painting it earlier this week and get it done. I'm gonna be working on my Corsair for my Corsair build I've got on. Like I said, we got six months on that build, fellas. Six months. <clears throat> that gives you enough time, plenty of time, to adventure other group builds and do your own stuff. Take a couple days off for a vacation and come back and work on my group build. Angel says doing it a month and a week, like that's too much pressure, too much stress. These things become stressful if you really got a schedule going on. Especially the group builds. You start making boo boos on your model, so take your time. Six months is long enough. <clears throat> okay, what else I got shaking here? Oh yeah. This is my Victor right here. My Airfix Victor. This is my second build. I'm gonna go ahead and start uh, I'm gonna go ahead and um, start sanding a filler off that. That thing required filler somehow. I don't know what happened. I guess we got a bad kid or something. I don't know. They just Somehow I left a few gaps there. I had to I had to fill them in. So gotta sand that down and prime that. I have a I should have that. I have a video of that probably this week coming up too. So I'm pretty busy here. I'll probably be working on. Um, I'm gonna get the Stuka going. And I'm thinking about working on the Airfix 148 scale javelin. I think I bought that kit back in 2013. It's, it's pretty old now. I think it's eight years old now. And it's been around for a while. It's a good kit. I like to watch Alan West. <laughs> yeah. And his late sidekick company. Uh, he did a lot of videos on that. So if anyone wants to follow up on a, a build video, watch how he does it. It was a good job. You all do good jobs, fellas. Every one of you do good jobs out there. There's not a bad job out there, I say. And uh, this is a wonderful community. We all need to get involved and just enjoy this wonderful hobby. Okay, I'm out of here right now. And uh, this is the conclusion of video five for my fun build of the Crumpler 132nd scale Thunderbolt 2. So stay posted tonight for um, a Stuka. I'll have it all primed, ready to go tonight. So stay posted for that. And I'm going to start working on my Corsair. I might have a live action on that tonight. I think that would be a wonderful idea. So stay posted this evening for live action with Frankie Day on this 132nd scale Tamiya F4U Corsair. Happy point to this Lucille Bell. Okay, that's about all I got, fellas, for today. And I hope you enjoyed that video. And I hope I inspired you to buy a one, th <laughs> one three second scale warthog or take out a stash and start building it. Don't be bashful. It ain't going to scare you. It's just a big old airplane. But be sure to find a place to put it before you build it. I got no choice but hanging up in this place. Okay, make mama happy. Always take care of the little babies. Take care of yourself. Stay focused when you drive. 
be aware of your surroundings by yourself a model one is not over with yet the colleague will told mentions of snow this week there'll be a lot of snow we're gonna get snowed in pretty bad so as long as we get snowed in I'm gonna model on buddy I'm gonna model on until it melts so you guys take a, a blessed wonderful day and stay posted tonight for live action Okay, this is Frankie Day from Frankie Day Model signing off. God bless you all. I love you fellows. You guys all take care. And please take care of your, your wife, your mama, mama-san, and everybody, and yourself. And, and please be safe and, be, and take care of yourselves. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, boys. Take care. God bless you all.